Orelanine, Wikipedia article audio. Orelanine or Orelanin is a mycotoxin found in a group of mushrooms known as the Orelani of the Cordonariaceae family. Structurally, it is a pyridine N oxide based compound. History Synthesis Toxicity Treatment Orelanine first came to people's attention in 1957 when there was a mass poisoning of 135 people in Bydgosz, Poland, which resulted in 19 deaths. Orelanine comes from a class of mushrooms that fall under the genus Cortinarius. Although not all the species in this genus are poisonous slash contain orelanine, it was found that Cortinarius orelanus, Rubellus, Henrici, Rainerensis, and Bruno Fulvus contain orel lane. Poisonings pertaining to these mushrooms were predominantly in Europe where foraging was a major source of nourishment, although there are cases of orelanine poisoning in North America as well. Orelanine has been found to cause acute renal failure and there are many cases where people have taken this mushroom mistaking it for causing hallucinogenic effects. It wasn't until 1962 until the first isolation of orelanine was done. The first methanolic extraction and isolation of orelanine was done by Stanislaw Grisimala and isolated from the mushroom Cortinarius orelanus. Along with the isolation of orelanine, Grisimala was also able to demonstrate the nephrotoxicity of Cortinarius orelanus and determine various physical and chemical properties of orelanine. He found that the toxicity of the mushrooms was linked to delayed and acute renal failure, as well as when the isolated white crystalline substance was heated above 150 C it began to slowly decompose. After this first isolation of orelanine, the structure of orelanine was first discovered by Ant Kowiak and Gessner in 1979. Orelanine's structure was found to be 3,3,4,4 tetrahydroxy 2,2 by pyridine LL dioxide. Ant Kowiak and Gessner were also able to determine that orelanine was the mono N oxide of orel line which was the decomposition product of orelanine. It was also found that orelanine was non-toxic. The first successful synthesis of orelanine was done in 1985. Taiko, M.E.T. Al completed a total synthesis of orelanine using commercially available 3-hydroxypyridine. After the first successful synthesis, the structure was confirmed in 1987 by Cohen added ETAL in 1987 by X-ray crystallography. The chemical constitution of orelanine remained unknown until the Polish chemists Ant Kowiak and Gessner in the last half of the 1970s discovered that it was a bipyridine dioxide. Orelanine undergoes tautomerization, and the more stable tautomer is the amine oxide form. An interesting feature of orelanine is its ability to bind aluminium ions to form chelation complexes. The first synthesis of orelanine was done in 1985 and Taiko, M.E.T. Al were able to synthesize orelanine from 3-hydroxypyridine. This synthesis was completed in 8 steps with a 79-87% to 87 yield. When synthesized the two pyridyl rings are nearly perpendicular and the molecule is chiral. When it is isolated from the mushroom, it is an optically inactive racemic mixture. Other synthetic strategies have also been attempted. For example, orelanine was also synthesized in nine steps by Diem Lowe and Schultz in 1985 using 3-aminopyridine and the desired product was synthesized with 30% yield. In the synthesis done by Taiko, METAL can be seen in the scheme below. In the first step, 3-hydroxypyridine was first treated with bromine in an alkaline solution to obtain 2. 
The product of that step was then subjected to O alkylation using DMF as a solvent to obtain 3. 3 was the oxidized with M chloroperbenzoic acid in chloroform to give 4. That product was then nitrated with nitric acid and sulfuric acid to obtain a mixture of 5 and 6. These two molecules were separated by combining the mixture of products with water. 5 is insoluble in water, whereas 6 is soluble in water. 6 was then subjected to sodium methoxide in methanol to obtain the other methoxy group seen in products 7 and 7 was deoxygenated using phosphorus tribromide to obtain 8. To obtain tetramethylorel line, structure 9, triphenylphosphine, NiCl26H2O, and zinc powder were used to conduct the homocoupling of halopyridines through the use of nickel phosphine complexes. Once 8 with the bipyridyl structure had been obtained, the synthesis of orelanine could be conducted. The bipyridyl product from number 8 is then delkylated with hydrobromic acid to give orel line, which was found to be a yellow crystalline solid. Orel line is then oxidized with hydrogen peroxide using heat to obtain the desired product, orelanine. Another way to synthesize orelanine from 9 was to subject it to excess M chloroperbenzoic acid in chloroform to obtain 12, tetramethyl orelanine. Tetramethyl orel lane was then demethylated using hydrobromic acid to yield orelanine. Bipyridins with positively charged nitrogen atoms were already known to be poisonous before the structure of orelanine was elucidated. The herbicides paraquat and diquat are toxic not only to plants, but also to humans and livestock. Bipyridins with charged nitrogen atoms disrupt important redox reactions in organisms stealing one or two electrons and sometimes bypass the electrons into other and often undesirable redox reactions. The terminal product can be peroxide or superoxide ions, the latter of which is harmful to the cells. It is likely that orelanine works in the same way, although the process from disturbed redox reactions to the serious clinical kidney damage has not been properly resolved. In humans, a characteristic of poisoning by the nephrotoxin orelanine is the long latency, the first symptoms usually do not appear until 2-3 days after ingestion and can in some cases take as long as 3 weeks. The first symptoms of orelanine poisoning are similar to the common flu, these symptoms are followed by early stages of renal failure and eventually decreased or non-existent urine output and other symptoms of renal failure occur. If left untreated death will follow. The LD50 of orelanine in mice is 12 to 20 mg per kg body weight, this is the dose which leads to death within two weeks. From cases of orelanine-related mushroom poisoning in humans it seems that the lethal dose for humans is considerably lower. Although there is no known antidote against orelanine poisoning, early hospitalization can sometimes prevent serious injury and usually prevent death. Research is ongoing. Some treatments make use of antioxidant therapy and corticosteroids to help victims recover from their renal failure.